you guys welcome to abs with ash woo first episode episode one how are you guys doing today i'm really excited for this series if you're new guys and if you didn't get the announcement on my instagram i am starting a short series on this channel called well you guessed it abs with ash basically walking through everything i do to maintain a lean midsection okay i'm talking diet i'm talking exercises all that good stuff okay i know all of our bodies are different i'm always going to have that disclaimer always do what's right for you and your body but i thought i would share with you guys my journey of trying to just get a strong abdominal area and you know try and get that six pack going baby why not <laughs> so i thought i would kick off the very first episode vlog style at the grocery store because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, okay? About 80% at least is diet, okay? I bet you didn't wanna hear that, but it is. It has been months and months of trial and error. You just gotta do what's right for you, and this is what works for me. So, taking you guys along with me, I'm going to go pick up James right now from class, and uh, we're going to the grocery store. If you are new to this channel, definitely hit that subscribe button, because I do make new videos every single week, all about health, wellness, fitness all that the whole realm baby okay i'm sweating in this car oh oh it's september why hey oh yeah you ready to go grocery shopping i was babe? born ready to go grocery shopping all righty bay's here get in here all right guys we just got to the grocery store i do want to point out james made a really good point i just want to let you know before we go in all right that not gonna lie we have a pretty strict diet <laughs> extremely strict it's okay boring. it could be looked at as boring but we do like to spice things up okay but that'll be for another video this is just grocery shopping today you're gonna be seeing a lot of protein natural fats complex carbs and pretty much zero or very very little sodium okay that's the key right there all right that is it when you eat for abs you got to keep the water retention that's it that's Very it. Mm -hmm. So we do pay attention to uh, the label for sure. So some people watching this, after you're done watching this video, you might think it's a little intense and boring and kind of uh, extreme. But the truth is, especially right now in our lives, we eat for function and it is a lot of self-discipline, but I love it because it's not punishment, okay? This is just me loving my body and I just want the most nutritious things for my body that's gonna fuel me in ways that's just gonna help me out, okay? So, if you're still on board, let's get in that grocery store, shall we? It's not Whole Foods, by the way. I'm over Whole Foods. They're too pricey, it gets me mad. Uh, four. Four? Right there, this one. This one? I knew you were going to pick that one. Okay, so we eat a lot of bananas. We don't eat a lot of fruits. We just try to stick to like berries and a lot, a lot of bananas. This is great for a pre-workout, okay? Nice snack. High potassium helps to limit cramping when you work out. Perfect. Always buy some that are green. Okay, and so you don't have to keep running out and grabbing bananas. Baby spinach because that's what Popeye ate, okay? And he's got muscles. Okay guys, so we're picking up a thing of celery. We got some cucumbers, okay? We love our vegetables, and cucumbers and celery obviously have a ton of water in them, so it's really good um, if you struggle with keeping hydrated. Get yourself a bunch of celery and a bunch of cucumbers, okay? You'll be hydrated all day. Salmon. They're upside down. Number... Salmon is my number one protein. It's my favorite. I eat it throughout the week. I love it. It's so freaking delicious. Those omega-3 fatty. 
he's following us, I'm telling you. I know, it's freaky. Huh? It's like he wants to square up. What's good? Ready? There's a camera. There's a camera. His name is Marty. <laughs> there's, a, there's a name tag on that thing. You see him stop? You're scared of him. You're scared. You're gonna move around. You're gonna turn that way down. Whoa. That, that thing is weird. It works for Amazon. I still don't understand what it does. Oh my god, my nails. 45 milligrams of sodium, okay? For a lean grilled chicken. Okay? 310 milligrams for this. That's crazy. Right? For these chicken breasts, okay? Which is virtually the same thing as the other ones, okay? Except a lot more sodium. That's what you want to stay away from. You always got to check sodium count because that's what's going to make you retain water. Nobody likes that. Low sodium, baby. You don't want to retain that water. No siree. Say bye to your ass. So we are dairy free, all right? Not even like on purpose. We just we don't really eat dairy anymore. Gives me it's, gas. It's, it gives James gas. Very high sodium and like cheese and things like that. So um, no, no, no regular milk here. Uh, we got original soy milk from Silk. It's the bomb. There's how many? Eight grams of freaking protein in this baby. And I mix this in with my protein, with my whey protein from Women's Best. It is amazing. This stuff is like creamy, you know what I mean? Like regular milk, so it almost tastes like you're drinking regular milk. Now for some natural fats, here we go. Natural chunky peanut butter. You gotta be real careful when you look at peanut butter. High sodium, everything has high sodium. This is really great. I really do love the schmuck, schmuckers <laughs> natural. Um, we go with the chunky because believe it or not, the creamy is loaded with sodium. Same brand, same everything. It's not a drastic difference, but this still has lower sodium. So we go with that and we got like four jars, okay? James eats this like it's candy. He eats it all. He smothers his bananas in it. Don't you, bae? And we ain't talking about the fruit. Okay guys, we're getting the Big Mama Luke because we cook everything in extra virgin olive oil. It's gotta be extra virgin cold press. You want the first squeeze of the olive. You want the fresh juice, okay? You don't want, you don't want the remnants. You want the fresh squeezed because I'm gonna be honest, chicken is disgusting. <laughs> Without it. It's disgusting. You need something to kind of like moisten it up a little bit. Throw some seasonings on. <laughs> All right, we are in the organic aisle. This is where we get our tuna. Tuna, where are you? No salt added, there we are. This is the tuna that I like to eat for lunch, okay, with some organic mayo. This is it right here, loaded with protein. This whole can has 21 grams of protein in it, no salt added, all natural. None of that green, greasy, grimy oils that they have like the tuna sit in. This, there's nothing in this baby, it is. Clean as clean gets, okay? Lean protein. What you got there, Bay? One of my favorites. So, me being incredibly Italian, it's really hard to kind of cut the wheats and the pastas on my diet. Same. So, what we do is we look for pasta alternatives. Mm -hmm. So, if you go into this kind of section, they have uh, different pastas made with different beans. So, not only are they high in protein, but they're also super low in mm -hmm. carbs compared to traditional pastas. So this is my ride or die right here, okay? I am not anti-carbs one bit. You want those lean gains, but you wanna keep it clean. You still want it to, to really matter, okay? You don't wanna just pack on that weight. So we love the Barilla Red Lentils. Great source of iron, and it's 100% lentils. 100%. Oh, they have routine version. Oh, yes, yeah. Guys, for those of you who don't know, rice cauliflower is awesome because it acts as a uh, substitute for rice. What we do is we saute this with chicken and uh, anything else that we eat, mm -hmm. and it's perfect because it gives that like, rice texture, yeah. but there's no harm. Yep, exactly. Riced cauliflower for the win.
Now, where are you going to fit it? That's the problem. We always do this. We always go for a smaller cart because we think it's going to help us not get a lot of stuff. <laughs> and then we end up just looking stupid. So you want to be careful with the type of seasoning you get. A lot of them is stuff with sodium. So my go-to is uh, Mrs. Dash. These mm -hmm. things are amazing. No sodium, they have amazing flavors. The selection here isn't that great, but it's got what we need. We're going garlic and herb. Yeah, garlic and herb. We are going the original. Yeah, original. And it doesn't look like they have the chipotle, but that's all right. Alrighty guys, so we got our frozen veggies. Love whole green beans, they're my favorite. You just saute them with some garlic and oil and you're good to go. I got a bunch of uh, the Oikos Triple Zero. These are awesome as a snack. High protein, 15 grams of protein per container, okay? Dope, they got a dope selection of flavors. Look at this, freaking coffee. Yeah, cherry, I got strawberry, and I got apple cinnamon for fall. Oh dang, got a ton of chicken. We got, got our chicken, we got veggies, we got our natural fats. We got some veggies, we got bananas all day. Got yeah. potassium, really good for muscle good. recovery. I think we're good. This will last us literally probably about four, three to four days. I was gonna say two. Yeah, well. Um, I just wanna note guys that this isn't like a crazy heavy duty haul. We do have a lot of stuff already at home that we don't need to rebuy like eggs. We eat a lot of eggs so we still we have like five cartons at home. This is just things yeah. that we needed, we ran out of. So if you want to see the actual what we eat in a day during a course of just the average day, how we eat, what we eat, how much we eat, then stay tuned and subscribe because that's coming next, okay? Hmm. All right, guys, that was it. That was the haul. We're gonna go pay now, go home and feast a little bit, okay? Again, definitely subscribe so you don't miss another Abs with Ash video series, okay? More to come, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>